Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be reviewing Jeffree Star's makeup brushes right here, the Morphe Collab, and his beauty sponges that he came out with. And yeah, we're just going to jump right into it. I already got my face primed and prepped and I'm just going to see how these brushes perform and how these beauty blenders perform and lay down the makeup. Get you the real seat. Alrighty, let's slide this off. Trash. Um, <laughs> um, we're going to bust it wide open <laughs> and see what's up in here. Actually, <laughs> say me failing again at life. I'm gonna forget about those brushes. We're gonna come back to them for a second. We're gonna open the beauty blenders because everyone knows you have to put down your base first before you lay down powder. I'm a guru. Okay, I'm gonna take these little ones out because those are so cute. I'm trash and I didn't wet my beauty blender and I normally don't. So like, Tia, you wanna give me some toner? <laughs> <laughs> Get me that, um, the Mario spray. Oh, there you go. Boom. You bop. I know. You don't need to tell me twice. For a real one. Ooh. Oh. <laughs> Just spray this over here. Don't spray it on my cat. Stop. It's fine. He loves no. toner. So, we got the Beauty Balenza. Freaking moistens and ready to go. And blend down my fucking life. Uh, it'll be fine. If you hear that mini fridge in the back, just know that shit's fucking cool over here, all right? And get over it. So, I'm gonna put on some concealer. Right here. All right, here we go. I wonder which side I should blend with. Honestly, I've never used a beauty blender like this. I think I'm gonna use like one of the flat sides and just blend it in. Alrighty, we're all blended out. I'm gonna go in and just add some more and mess around and get a better feel for it. I wonder if I should use one of the small ones for under the eye. I'm gonna use one of these small ones for under the eye. First impression on the big one. It's honestly great, it works like a beauty blender. Um, I didn't really soak mine, I don't like soaking mine. If you wanna soak yours, you can. Um, I just spritzed it with like a little bit of a toner. I like mine slightly damp. I feel like when you soak them, it's just so much. And I just, I don't know, I don't find I need to fully soak mine. But we're gonna go in with the banana shade in the cream contour and see how this works. These things are a little tricky to get a grip on. I think I just have like big hands, so I feel weird using this small one. But it feels kind of nice, honestly. It's a nice little, cute little moment. They blend things out really well, as you can see. Um, side um, is blended. This side hasn't been blended yet. I feel like it blends things out really nice. It's just like the OG Beauty Blender. I don't think you can really go wrong. And if it's anywhere near Jeffrey's other products, you know it's gonna be good. So he did that. All right, so I'm about to dip into these brushes and we're gonna pull out the one I believe is used for contour and it is the JS3. This one right here. We're gonna get to contour. And I'm just gonna take all of these out right now, but I'm not gonna take them out of the plastic. I'm just gonna set them to the side. Now this brush, honestly, feels pretty sturdy. It's really pretty. It feels, it feels good. Like it has a good consistency. It's not like heavy, 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 but it doesn't feel cheap. It doesn't feel like dollar store, like it's gonna break or bend or, you know, fall apart. Feels pretty sturdy. Um, tug on this. I've had brushes before that literally this just pops off. The adhesive is just like so trash. Um, and these bristles feel really nice. So 
We're about to see how it performs. We go in the same cream contour again. I'm gonna go in my shade and see how it goes. These, honestly, this brush blends beautifully. And I was kind of skeptical at first, like using a smaller brush. I've never used a brush this small. I've never used a brush this small, honestly, ever to contour. Um, and it worked out perfectly. As you can see, it's blended. It's very airbrushed. It's very soft, very natural. Um, at first it applied it a little bit condensed, but it really does like fan out. It does have that like kind of like domey shape to like blend in those areas and it's nice because I can also use it for a nose contour and get that quick snatch nose so we're gonna do that I'm gonna go ahead and do the other side and well we'll get back alrighty we are contoured honestly freaking love this brush I think it did an amazing job at blending super sturdy definitely gonna be adding this to my daily routine my daily beat so obsessed with this one so I'm going to use the JS2 and this also feels nice as well. Brush is very, very soft, very pretty, has that more of a, I don't know, I guess this would be a domey shape. It, I mean, it does taper in. So it's really nice, really pretty. We're going to use this to set the under eye. Can't find the setting powder. It's in front of me. Um, so yeah, so I'm just gonna dab into this. Set that under eye. I'm just gonna use some light powder. I don't really heavy bake, so that's not my vibe. I kind of just like to do like a very, very airbrushed, like minimalistic type of vibe. Sometimes, I mean, I don't mind like a super, super beat mug, but right now I'm just going to go with something super soft. I wonder if I should go in. I'm going to go in with like the pointer edge of this and go for like a more chiseled nose, that type of vibe, just for those of you who do enjoy that. and. I'm honestly going to use the same overall powder um, type of brush, the JS2, for a little bit of blush and a powder bronzer as well to set this. So I'm going to go in with the bronzer first. Alrighty, so I'm gonna go in now with the JS4. Lord, I'm blind. It's her bitch is blind. <laughs> no, literally, um, the JS4, and I'm gonna highlight, you know, do that whole jazz, and I'm gonna be using ooh, some Jeffree Star if I can get it open. I can't open it. <laughs> oh hell no. You're like close to it. Oh, I'm opening it the right way. Oh yeah, like I had to make sure. Like, <laughs> no, it's still not opening. Jeffree Star, shout out to you and your packaging for being uh, indestructible. I'm really trying. I'm scared. I don't want to break it. Let's see if you have arm bangs and go. I can't literally. Like, yo, that's wild. <laughs> Real reaction, guys. This is scary. Okay, so we're gonna go in with Regina George. And highlight up. So I put I put Regina George on, and it is pretty. It's hard to see, but she there. Regina there. Regina showed up. She just didn't, you know. She didn't show up. Show up you know what I'm saying? Because we already got a lot going on. But we're gonna go in with some uh, 
uh, Aurora glow kit. And we gon' we gonna get it popping popping. Ooh, that glow. She's beaming. All right, on to the brows. And for the brows, I'm using the JS7. If I can read correct. If not, roast me down in the comments. <laughs> um, I was really excited about this brush because uh, when I saw that he did an eyebrow brush, I was like, holy crap. Like, of course, he's going to make one that's like super, super fine tipped and where you can really finesse and draw those hairs which i'm super excited for and so far it's pretty good it's really really thin tip which is amazing because it's going to give you that like kind of like i didn't draw on my brow brow which i live for Alrighty, and I'm gonna do the other one off of camera and then we'll be right back. All right, and now we're gonna move on to the eyes. I'm gonna use the JS5 first. I'm just gonna lay down all over color. And we're gonna see how this works. I'm gonna dip into the Alien really quick and I'm gonna use the shade Tall Gray. We're just gonna lay that all over. And I'm gonna dip into blood sugar and blend a little pink into that. Probably gonna use tongue pop. Alrighty, I'm gonna cut my crease. Um, I'm happy with the blend. I'm gonna cut my crease with Pre Louise and I'm gonna be right back. All right guys, so I finished cutting the crease and I popped on some lashes and a little bit of mascara and now I'm going to be moving on to the lips. So I'm gonna do that off camera and I'll be right back. All right, that is the lips all finished and this is the final look. Um, my thoughts on the brushes are they're amazing, they're sturdy, they're honestly, they're really great. They're well put together, well designed, fashionable. They all, I mean, blend the product amazing. The eye brushes were definitely amazing. Honestly, I don't have eye brushes this good in my arsenal, so it was amazing. Um, I used this one for the inner corner highlight and this for all over eye look. And it's so versatile. Like, I used one brush for this whole entire look. So, honestly, amazing. The brow brush, awesome. In general, they're approved. They're approved by me. The only one I didn't get to use was the size queen. Sorry about it, but I mean, I'm sure it's amazing. I'll get back to you guys about this and what I think about it, but the brushes are approved. And the sponges were honestly amazing. The little sponges, I feel weird because I have big fingers. Honestly, I'm like Jabba the Hutt. I'm like, Wah. but like... <laughs> They they performed well. They felt nice. They were soft. They weren't like hard. Like I know some cheap sponges, like a Forever Twenty One sponge, would be like like beating your face up or like like a dish sponge. Um, so they were really soft. They were nice, and they blend very well. So the sponges and the brushes were approved by me. That's it. And I used them to create this look. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please thumbs up like the video comment down below let me know what you think about these brushes if you're gonna get them or not or what like pero let me know they should be restocking on monday <laughs> don't quote me but like quote me um and yeah so give me a thumbs up subscribe show your support come join this freaking <laughs> crazy mess this hot mess all right bye you guys thank you so much Mwah.